They went for the gold, and they got the gold. USA women's gymnastics team, led, of course, by Simone Biles, came out on top in the all-round team final. Peter Biles and the entire Team USA proved they are back on top as they earned USA's only gold medal of the day. Really? Are we even shocked at this point? It is Simone Biles, the Simone Biles, we are talking about after all. And just in case you needed it spelled out, so... With eight medals, including five gold, Biles is now the most decorated American Olympic gymnast ever. Who's your favorite? Simone. Simone Biles. <laughs> How did this happen? To put it simply, the U.S. women's gymnastics team had framed it as a redemption tour. But as you can imagine, it was more than that. It was more of a clinic, a showcase, a dominant show of twisting and acrobatic force. Led by the GOAT herself, the Americans coasted to yet another Olympic gold medal a couple of nights ago at Bercy Arena, finishing atop the podium for the third time in the four most recent trips to the Summer Games. They finished nearly six points ahead of the silver medal winners Italy, with Brazil grabbing bronze. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. It was never really close. What's truly remarkable is the fact that they achieved this feat after Biles competed less than 48 hours after overcoming calf pain in qualifying. Well, she isn't the greatest of all time for nothing. She competed and excelled in all four events, starting the night with a soaring Cheng vault and ending it with her signature floor routine, set in part to the music of Taylor Swift. Chelsea Memel, technical director for the U.S. Women, said, I think it speaks volumes of her strength, what she was able to come back from with the whole world watching, and a world watching with a magnifying glass again, just waiting to see what she was going to do. She emphasized that they never doubted that Simone could do what she just did, and more. That wasn't ever a question in my mind that she could do it, and it continues to just solidify her place as the greatest gymnast of all the time," Memo added. That is not to say, though, that Biles' teammates did not do their parts. Just keeps getting better. In the sport, a lot of adversity you have to overcome, but as long as we're there cheering each other on, having confidence in each other's gymnastics, then it's gonna work. To be this good as consistently for the last 10 years, I mean, she's just incredible. It goes without saying that the entire team worked hard for the gold. Suni Lee, the reigning Olympic all-around champ, was masterful on balance beam and strong on uneven bars. Jordan Chilas, like Biles, competed in all four events and finished with just one notable mistake on balance beam. And Jade Carey, who has been nursing an illness, hit a terrific vault in her only event of the night. Needless to say, performances by Biles, Lee, Childs, and Carey throughout the women's gymnastics team final had left little doubt about the outcome. The smile on Simone Biles' face at the end of her floor routine said it all, as she blew kisses to a crowd erupting in USA, USA chants. It was clear that her score on the event was merely a formality, but moments after the 27-year-old Biles walked off the floor at Bercy Arena, her score of 14.666 flashed on the screen and made it official. The U.S. team had won the gold medal and were back on top of the gymnastics world yet again. I'm just really proud of every single one of us for overcoming something before or during this trip to get where we are today," said Carey, who battled an illness during qualifying. With a final total score of 171.296, the Americans defeated Italy, the silver medalists, by nearly six points. And there was an almost seven-point gap to bronze medalist Brazil. It was the fourth time that the American women have claimed gold in the event, but the first since 2016. The gold medal follows a surprising silver finish in Tokyo three years ago, when Biles ultimately withdrew from the competition following vault, the team's first event, due to the twisties with Biles, Chilas, and Lee returning to the team, and with Carey having been in Tokyo as an individual competitor, they had all talked about redemption and wanting to prove to themselves what they were capable of together. They contemplated calling themselves the Redeem Team, but ultimately just decided to let their gymnastics do the talking. Speaking of their team's nickname, Biles's had a funny reaction when asked about it. What is your team name? What's your team name? Um, 
Don't say it. Don't say I'm not going to say it. <laughs> abbreviate <laughs> it. Just abbreviate yeah. it. F A. <laughs> Aren't they just adorable? Whatever their informal team name may be, that they apparently don't want to share. There's no question about the fact that the U.S. women's gymnastics team is golden once again. Atlanta 1996, London 2012, Rio 2016, and now Paris 2024. The team's gold a few days back extends a 32-year medal streak at the Olympics for the U.S. women, beginning at the 1992 Barcelona Games. It's their fourth team gold medal. What's more, Biles officially became the most decorated American gymnast in the history of the Olympic Games with eight medals. To be fair, Biles was already the most decorated gymnast in history from any country if you include world championship medals in the tally. She now has 38 combined world and Olympic medals. One medal, that's all it took to wrap up Simone Biles' epic redemption tour, which kicked off last year. Biles took the floor for the last event of the Paris Olympics team finals at Bercy Arena with her floor routine. And as can be expected, she delivered. And if there's any question about her being the most decorated Olympic gymnast ever, think again. She previously tied with the legendary Shannon Miller at seven Olympic medals, two gold, two silver, and three bronze. But now that Biles has just added her eighth Olympic medal to her collection, now she stands tall with five gold, one silver, and two bronze. She is aware, however, that her most recent win isn't just her doing, but her teammates as well, who enjoyed the competition just as she did. We had the most fun I've ever had at a meet, Suni Lee said after the US won gold. It's super special because we all knew how much we wanted it. We put in the work and did everything that we needed to do. Biles shared the team's pre-competition ritual, which involved bumping music loud. We were just having a good time while we were getting ready, Biles said. And we all knew what the job was once we got in here. For Chiles, having this opportunity definitely felt really good. And being able to be a part of winning this gold medal and everything that I've just gone through, it's just been an amazing experience, so. I'm really just proud of each and every one of us that are up here. This smile is always going to be smiling because it's just been an amazing experience. For Biles, who, as you know, suffered from the twisties during the last Olympic Games, incorporating therapy into her daily routine worked wonders for her. In a new episode of The Making Space with Hoda Kotb podcast published a few days ago, Simone opened up about the positive impact the sessions have had on her mental health. The gymnast said, I've always tried to stay authentic to myself, so I feel like the new me. I'm a little bit older, more mature, so just being unapologetically me. I feel a lot more free, especially going to therapy and doing those sessions so that physically and mentally I feel better. And I know that's an important part of my routine. Overall, Simone Biles, 27-year-old from suburban Houston, the oldest American woman to make an Olympic gymnastics team since the 1950s, showed no sign of the calf injury she'd aggravated during the qualifying session. The arguable face of the whole Olympics was the star of the show, as the Americans claimed their ninth consecutive medal in the team event, and the fourth women's team gold in Olympic history. Watch this to see how other athletes are faring so far.